Dear students, welcome to one more new video of 10th Standard Social Science. In this video, let us see important questions from geography. What are the advantages of Himalayas? This question is taken from India geographical position and physical features. The Himalayan mountains have influenced the life of Indians to a greater extent. They provide protection to India by obstructing the cold winds from the Siberian regions. They are the birthplace of many rivers. They facilitate hydroelectric power generation. They are the home of many types of plants and animals. They are a great treasure house of minerals and are also significant for tourism and religious centers. Right about the Siwalik range, these hills are the most recent formation and are located in the southern part. They have lesser height. They are also called the foot hills of the Himalayas. These hills have narrow strip of plants or valleys which are called dunes. These are about 600 to 1500 meters above the sea level. Mention the differences between Western and Eastern Ghats. Western Ghats to the west of the Deccan Plateau, there are the Western Ghats. To the east of the Deccan Plateau, there are the Eastern Ghats. The Western Ghats are very high or continuous. The Eastern Ghats are not very high or continuous. In the Western Ghats, Anaimudi is the highest peak. In the Eastern Ghats, Armakonda and Mahindragiri are the highest peaks. These Ghats are not separated by river valleys here and there. These Ghats are separated by river valleys here and there. Mention the physical features of India, Northern Mountains, Northern Great Plain, Peninsular Plateau, Coastal Plains. Explain the importance of Greater Himalayas or Himadri. They are the source of Gangotri which is the origin of river Ganga. There are many passes which not only provide transport facilities but are also excellent tourist attractions. They are Kashmir, Burzil, Zozila, Baralla, Baralacha of Himachal Pradesh. The peninsular plateau has great economic significance. Why? It has rich deposits of minerals. As the rivers have many waterfalls, the best suited for the production of hydroelectricity. Mention the differences between western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains. The western coastal plains, it is located between Arabian Sea and the western guards. It is located between the Bay of Bengal and the Eastern Ghats. It spreads from Kutch of Gujarat to the Cape of Kanyakumari. It extends from Kanyakumari to the Gangetic River. It is divided into Malbar Coast, Kenra Coast, Konkan Coast and Maharashtra Gujarat Coast. It is divided into Utkal Coast and Koromandal Coast. Mumbai, Marmugova, Cochin, Kandla, Karwar and Mangalore are the major ports of, the, of this coast. Chennai, Vishakhapatnam, Paradip, Kolkata are the major ports of this coast. This coastline is not very wide and flat. This coastline is very wide and flat. India seasons. What are the factors influenced on climate of India? Latitude, height from the sea level, distance from the sea, direction of the winds, mountain ranges, ocean currents. Indian agriculture, gambling with the monsoon winds, discuss. Climatic conditions of a country has a great influence on its economy. The southwest monsoons control the agriculture of India. Failure of rainfall leads to drought. When the monsoons are heavy, there are floods. They also cause to destruction to life and property. Hence it is said that Indian agriculture is a gamble with monsoon.
mention the indian climate season summer season southwest monsoon season retreating monsoon season winter season how does southwest monsoon bring rainfall southwest monsoon separates india into two branches one is the arabian sea branch and the other is the bay of bengal branch monsoon winds are obstructed by the western guards as these winds proceed to the east they get depleted of rain the eastern region of the western ghats are called rain shadow regions what are the types of soils found in india alluvial soil black soil red soil laterite soil desert soil mountain soil what is meant by soil erosion list out its methods for prevention of soil erosion and protecting the fertility of the soil is known as soil er er conservation of soil methods counter flowing construction of burns around the agricultural land development of terraced agricultural fields prevention of deforestation and encouragement of afforestation control of livestock grazing planned use of water construction of check dams etc what is soil erosion collect information about its effect transformation transportation of surface soil by various natural forces is called soil erosion effects it leads to accumulation of silt in the river beds thereby causing floods with accumulation of silt in river course changing direction of river course due to accumulation of silt the storage capacity of the reservoirs get reduced due to soil erosion the volume of water percolating down gets reduced what are the causes of soil erosion deforestation over grazing unscientific methods of cultivation over irrigation etc mention the types of forests found in india evergreen forest deciduous monsoon forest tropical grassland mangrove forest desert vegetation alpine forests of himalayas what are the suggestions for conservation of forests cutting down dried up and abrasing trees which causes forest fire protecting the forest trees against diseases planting sampling sowing seeds guarding against illegal cutting of trees avoiding grazing of domestic animals in forests motivating people to plant samplings creating awareness among people about trees and encouraging them to protect them implementing the social forestry projects speedily and successfully implementing the social forestry projects speedily and successfully explain the characteristics and distribution of deciduous forests in india this type of forests are more widely distributed in india they are seen in areas receiving 75 to 250 cm of rainfall it forms about 65.5% of the total area of forest this type of forest is distributed widely the trees shed their leaves during the dry winters as such these are also called deciduous monsoon forests explain the features of mangrove forest these forests are formed due to tides they are found along the deltas and coastal regions and estuaries of rivers river delta of the ganga mahanadi godavari and krishna have this kind of forests the sundari trees are plenty in the ganga basin and hence these forests are called sundarbans indian forest areas are gradually decreasing why or what are the main causes for the destruction of forests expansion of agriculture animal grazing construction of roads and rail routes irrigation projects forest trees mining explain the features of evergreen forest they are found in the regions which are not more than 900 meters above sea level receive an annual rainfall of more than 250 cm this type of forests are found in western ghats northeastern states and andaman nicobar islands since the trees are always green they are called evergreen forests explain the features of tropical grassland this type of vegetation are found in the areas receiving 60 to 75 cm of rainfall these areas have tall 
grass and small herbs are rarely seen here and there babul sesam and sabai type of grass are seen in these areas what is multi purpose river valley project what are its objectives the projects have other purposes besides providing water for agricultural use such as such projects are called multi purpose river valley projects Ob objectives providing irrigation facility production of hydroelectric power prevention of floods creating facility for water transportation providing water for domestic and industrial use preventing soil erosion developing fisheries enhancing forest wealth rain water harvesting is compulsory today why water is very precious although india has vast water resource it is most unevenly distributed rainfall is coffin to the rainy season even in areas of heavy rainfall water storage is seen during the summers the only solution to the drought condition prevailing in india is rain harvest rain water harvesting what is natural national power grid supply of supply of power from surplus states to deficit states is called national power grid mention important hydroelectric power generation centers of karnataka shivana samudra tungabhadra jog bhadra alamatti kali explain the importance of national power grid india generates power from various sources all the states do not have sufficient electric power supply at all times hence to supply power from surplus states to deficit states a national power grid is established with its help excess power from any state can be supplied to any other power deficit state what is rainwater harvesting mention its types collection of rainwater is called rainwater harvesting two types are collection of water at the place of rainfall example rooftops of houses and buildings collection of flowing rainwater example building bunds and collecting water mention the methods of rainwater harvesting using the water collected from roof tops reduces the dependence on the public water supply digging ponds in agricultural areas and collecting water building check dams to prevent the flow of water communities can encourage engage themselves in constructing bunds or digging small ponds to collect the rain water what are the factors that influence land use land holdings population demand for agricultural product profession attitude of people social condition marketing facilities technology irrigation facility human capacity land ownership what are the types of agriculture intensive farming subsistence farming commercial farming mixed farming horticultural farming what are the factors essential for growing cotton cotton is the tropical and subtropical crops it grows well in areas where temperature is 20 degree to 25 degree celsius with a rainfall of 75 to 150 cm black soil and loamy soil support the growth of cotton black cotton soil which can hold moisture is most suitable list out the land use practiced in india net zone area forest area use of land for purposes other than cultivation fallow land grassland uncultivated land explain the importance of agriculture in india agriculture is the main occupation of indians it can be seen in all parts of the country in different forms it supplies the food grains of the huge population of the country it is a life subsistence occupation it provides more employment opportunities than all other sectors of economy many industries depend on the raw material provided by agriculture it indirectly nurtures many industries it supports even many industry it support even many tertiary occupations like transport trade banking etc
what are the important mineral resources available in india iron ore manganese ore bauxite mica gold what is non conventional energy resources example their import explain their importance renewable energy sources like solar energy wind energy tidal energy geothermal energy biogas etc are called non conventional energy sources in india of the energy resources being used the exhaustible energy resources are the main ones it has become inevitable to use non conventional energy sources to conserve the conventional energy sources exploration and use of non exhaustible energy uses has gained a lot of importance in the five year plans give suggestions of your own to eradicate the power scarcity use of non conventional resources giving importance to hydroelectric power generation use of alternate local energy resources encouraging the use of non conventional energy resources educating the people regarding the reduced use of energy resources producing energy from solid waste what are the uses of manganese ore manganese is the most important of the ferro alloy ores mined in india manganese is used in the manufacture of steel it is also used in manufacture of chemical and electrical equipment and colored glass what are the uses of mica mica is transparent heat resistance shiny silicate mineral mica has some qualities the important among them are insulation and elasticity it is used in the manufacture of telephones telegraph wireless service glass color varnish artificial number dynamos and chemical industries what are the advantages of transport transport provides goods and services from the place of production to the place of demand through the transportation goods and services each reach to the places of requirement the role of transport in the economic development of country significant areas of agriculture industries mining forestry fisheries dairy farming etc are closely linked with the markets through the transport hence for speedy economic development fast transport system are necessary what are the four types of major roads national highways state highways district roads village roads Make a list of major ports in India: Kandla, Mumbai, Marmugova, New Mangalore Port, Kochi, Tuticorin, Chennai, Visakhapatnam, Paradip, Kolkata, Haldia. Mention the importance of communication. With the help of communication media, people of the country can learn about the various incidents of different places. The people can aware of the policies of the government by educating people through mass media about agriculture and industry. A speedy developmental process is possible. mass communication media have become the fundamental requirement of trade and commerce mass media can be easily utilized to strengthen the unity integrity and stability in the country what is gps mention its uses gps means global positioning system they are useful in assessing the geographical position of natural calamities so that suitable safety measures are taken it is helpful for trackers to know the exact location and routes Soldiers, pilots, fishermen, and sailors use GPS to follow correct path and direction. Today, transport authorities also use this to manage the movement. GPS is the lifeline for many services at their door in the cities. GPS shows path to Google Map. Write the uses of remote sensing technology. From these pictures. true accurate and reliable information pertaining to that period can be obtained this is a fast low cost information collection system compared to geographical survey the information gathered by these can be easily analyzed using computers remote sensing images can be obtained from satellites regarding the extremes of climate and distribution in the geographical features studies related to natural calamities like typhoons cyclonic storms floods etc the role of satellite images is significant in analyzing the natural resources explain the importance of roads in india 
India is a country of villages and is predominantly an agricultural nation. Roads are very important for the development of villages and agriculture. Movement of agricultural produce by farmers to the market is possible only by roadways. Essential commodities required by the villages are transported with the help of roads. Road transport feed as railways. Roads provide the movement of goods. What are the problems of road transport? Many village and district roads become unfit for transportation during the rainy season. Road transport is also the cause of environmental pollution, increased density of vehicles and accident. Roads are subjected to severe wear and tear due to rain, floods and cyclone every year. Construction and management of national and state highways is inadequate. Scarcity of the basic needs along the roadside is seen all over the country. What is mass communication? What are the types of communication? The method of reaching a large number of people at the same time is called mass communication. Types of communication Post, newspaper, radio, television, satellites, computer network, internet, email, mobile, telephones. Make a list of industrial zones, Hooghly region, Mumbai, Pune region, Ahmedabad, Vodogar region, Damodar Valley region, industrial region, Southern industrial region, National capital region, Vishakhapatnam, Guntur region, Kollam, Thiruvananthapuram region. What are the factors influencing the location of an industry? Availability of raw materials, energy resources, market transport facility, availability of labor, port, facility what is industry explain the importance of industry any human activity engaged in a conversion of raw materials or finished goods into readily enable material is called an industry importance of industry industries are very important in the modern economic activities of man the state of economic development of any country is decided mainly by the industrial development of that country industries are the main features of modern Civilization, they provide us the necessary materials and employment opportunities. Iron and steel industry is called basic industry. Why? Machinery, railways, shipbuilding, power projects, irrigation projects, building construction, house construction. Explain the uses of advanced technology, telephone, internet communication, defense department, weapons and nuclear bombs, satellite launching, Lunar projects like Chandrayana, transparent in city administration, government offices, development of global economic system, educational, social and economic affairs elections. What are the essential factors required for aluminium industry? Supply of electricity, availability of bauxite, availability of other metals, supply of capital. What are the effects of cyclones? Cyclones are very destructive. Sometimes the life of the people of cyclone hit areas gets totally changed. They cause large scale deaths. Ocean tides inundate the inland water bodies and make them salty. Crops get totally destroyed. Transport links electricity supply and the daily life of the people get affected badly. Cyclone hit areas suffer from Infectious diseases leading to huge casualties. What is coastal erosion? Mention its management. The erosion of land by the waves in the coastal areas is called coastal erosion management. Prohibiting sand mining in coastal areas. Constructing retention walls along the length of coast wherever waves are strong. Stocking of large rocky boulders along the coast to reduce the impact. The most effective method of preventing coastal erosion is by growing mangrove forests along the coast. Write about the effects of earthquake, the loss of life and destruction of property, obstruction to transport, spread of infectious diseases, increased tidal activity, tsunamis, change in reverse direction. What are the precautions to be taken during earthquake? Restricting construction of multi-storied building in earthquake prone areas. Using very light material for construction of houses in these areas. Constructing houses to ensure stability. Providing basic amenities to the quake affected areas. Disconnecting power supply in the event of an earthquake. 
name the natural disasters earthquake floods droughts cyclones landslide coastal erosion what are the preventive measures of cyclones evacuation of people from low lying areas ready to keeping generators bolts helicopters rerouting trains and buses from cyclone prone areas keeping people constantly informed about the movement of the cyclone ready to keeping the army battalions ready ready to keeping food portable water and clothes ready ready to keeping medicines and medical facilities ready what are the flood control measures one should be constructed on either side of the rivers constructing dams across rivers establishing centers to issue flood warnings afforestation in the river basins what are the causes for landslide in the mountain areas and course constantly flowing water and tides the construction of railways roads and canals are in the steep mountainous areas collection of loose soil on clay soil water on clay soil layer landslides are common in the mining areas deforestation deep tilling of the slopes what are the reasons for the earthquake pressure increases in the interior of the earth change in the magma from one part to another urbanization deforestation construction of dams mining activities